guys welcome to my channel today we have an amazing problem for you guys where it's called ransom note so let's quickly go ahead and read the uh problem description right so he says uh given two strings ransom note and magazine right return true if ransom note can be constructed by using the letters from magazine right and return false otherwise okay so he said each letter in the magazine can only be con can only be used once in the run uh, ransom note right so okay interesting okay so two strings we're giving this ransom note that we want to write right and uh, this is the magazine and we need to use letters from the magazine to construct the ransom note that's given to us right that's kind of the whole problem statement right so we need to find out if they we're able to or not right just why we need to return this true or false right and then uh, what we need to do it also tells us a very important thing that we need to make sure we keep track of right each letter in the magazine right can only be used once right so you know you can't use the same letter uh, more than once right so imagine you have a real magazine right you you let's see you that uh, you know you imagine that you like uh the ransom note right you know you write your robber right and you are constructing this uh this note right you know you're cutting out the letters from a magazine right so once you put a letter you can't use the same letter right if there's no other letter that can you know because the sentence wouldn't make sense, right? Okay, that's kind of the that's kind of a way you can kind of visualize that, right? So, if I'm trying to write a ransom note of A, right, and in the magazine that I have, right, for some reason it only contains a letter B, right, then there's no way I could construct the ransom note, right? I return false, right, which is pretty logical here. And uh, for this one, right, we have you know a little more a little bit more interesting uh, problem, right? Uh, we're giving two a's right so in the magazine right i should have two a no i have one a and i have a b right so let's say you know i got, i have a for this one right but i don't have another a right you know to spell out whatever word that i'm trying to write right so it's not gonna work out because i have a b right which is not what i want when i write a a right so root term false right but this one right that's the ransom note, right? And that's the magazine, right? You know, so, okay, I have an A. Okay, cool. That's one A. I need another A. Is there another A in the magazine? Cool. There's another A, right? It's awesome. So I'm able to write my whole ransom note, right? And uh, convey that whatever message that I want to convey to whoever I'm sending it to, right? So I return true, right? So it kind of makes sense a little bit, right? So how do we derive an algorithm off of that, right? You know, the, what we just talked about, right? What, what, how can we solve this guy, right? Okay, so it seems like we need to construct a ransom note, right? You know, and we need to somehow know the letters available in uh, the our magazine, right? So that we can, you know, use it in our ransom note that we're building, right? You know, so how can we do that? You know, maybe you know we're gonna need do we uh, every time. Uh, just you know, okay, we loop through the ransom note, right? And every time we check our magazine. Right, every, for every letter, right, for every letter in our for character in our string, right, we look for in a magazine. Do we is there a corresponding uh, a or corresponding luck that corresponding character available in, ma in the magazine, right? If there is, then you know we can say this character is taken care of. But what if there's this case where we have two A's, right? And you, let's say you okay, you do A this one, okay, you get this A, right? And you do you, you check if there are A in magazine again, right? Yeah, there's an A, but this has already been used, right? Okay, so you're probably saying, okay, maybe we could keep track of index that's already been used, right? For, you know, it, it gets a little bit complicated in the and plus it doesn't really, you know, time complexity wouldn't be good anyway, right? So we need to kind of think of a more clever way, right? The time complexity is not gonna be good, obviously, because you know, we're looking for every character, right? And if for every character we're checking in the magazine for that particular character, right? So it would not be efficient. Okay. Uh so we need to kind of uh maybe bring down the type complexity right to be linear guys right you know how can we do that right uh let me see um so how about this right how about we you know construct somehow we can you know uh we could have a some kind of a hash map or something right, that keeps track of the characters that we have right and also the associated thing with it right it's going to be interesting right the uh, for the, let me put that as a comment, right? For the key, right? Obviously, this is going to be the character, right? Char. 
and then for the uh, value uh, is going to be the count, right? Which is an integer, right? Count. Okay. We have our character that maps how many times this character has occurred in our magazine, right? So I'm gonna tell you why it's important to know the count, right? Because as we're looping through, right, you know, we can, let's say we encounter this A, right? We see that, you know, is there an available A, right? So the count is, is two, right? No, 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 this one, right, I say, we loop through, we build our map, right? So our map would look like that after we finish, right? A is equal to one, right? And B is equal to one as well, right? And then now we would loop through the ransom node, right? And as we're looping through, right, we go ahead and decrement the count, right, of the character every time we we account for one, right? So let's say you no, know, but we loop through this one, right? We see there's an A. Is there an A in the map? Yeah, there's an A in the map, right? And not only there exists an A, right, but is the count? Is there enough A to use, right, to construct my ransom node? Yeah, there's one A you could use, right, at this particular particular point in time, right? And uh, what we do here, uh, we decrement the count, right, by one. Now it's zero, right? Now there's no more A. And then once we get to this place, right, we see that, you know, we check, is there A in there? Yeah, there's A, but the count, right, is zero, right? So we say, all right, cool. Because of that, we return false right away because we can safely say there's not enough of this particular character right in there, right, to uh, help you construct the message or the ransom node that you're trying to build right so that's kind of the whole algorithm right you know uh the hash map could even be uh you could use the hash map we could use uh you know the an array right to represent all the 26 characters in the alphabet right so up to you how you want to go about it okay so what we're gonna do guys is, is quickly you know go ahead with the implementation and hopefully it kind of made sense to you guys and uh, let me know in the comment section if it if it did or not right so all right so what we're gonna do We'll, we'll take the array, you know, uh, format. Uh, so count, right? And then we're gonna have it of size uh, 26, like you said. Uh, so now we're gonna loop through uh, the, the thing, right? Uh, so we're gonna loop through the ransom notes. So just do it like that instead. Uh, let's just copy this real quick. Uh, no, we gotta look through the magazine first. Sorry, guys. Char array, and now we look through everything right here. We do count. Is what guys right is going to be you know so how do we index right we're going to be indexing by subtracting the ASCII values right you know uh, we've talked about this before in another video right so we can subtract it right so to say you know we this character that we're referencing right is a right so it will be a minus a right we give you index zero right and then it will be the first character the first index in the array right so that's why if this character is b right we subtract it from the uh, ASCII value of A, right? And then we get a number and then we just simply get that particular index right in there. So that's kind of how it works, right? And then we're going to do the same thing, guys, right? You know, but we're going to loop again now, right? So we construct our magazine, right? You know, we get the count of every character, right? In the magazine, right? So now we could easily reference, right? And as we're building, right? We're not going to actually have to build the ransom note, right? We're just going to loop through, right? And because we only need to return true or false, right? That's why we don't need to actually build it. Good. You could build if you want to, but you know it's not nece necessary, right? Uh, but yeah, we want the most optimal solution, right? So as we're doing it, guys, right? Um, we're going to be uh, checking right every time, right? Do we have enough of this character, right? So if the if the value right of that character, right? less than or equal to zero right if it is i can return false right away right i don't need to worry about anything else right otherwise right if it is there's enough right i subtract one right so that you know the next iteration right that's one less of that character that you know you have to continue building whatever string right all right so the frequency as went down right 
I mean, they, we simply return true, right? If there's no problem, right? No, it happens here. So, uh, looks good to me. Uh, I don't know if I miss anything. Uh, looks all right. So we just said we we're going to have this count thing. That's going to keep track of the frequency of all, every character. And we loop through, uh, the magazine thing, right? To keep track of all the different frequency of every character in the magazine, right? And then we loop through and we the ransom notes and we simulate building it right by you know okay subtracting right but if we encounter if we get to a character right where where there's not enough of that character to build the ransom note right which is which tell us that by you know if this is less than or equal to zero right that means there's no more of that character in there right so therefore i can just return false okay let's press submit Looks good to me, guys. We pass all the test cases. So if you guys found value and you guys understood the solution, let me know that in the comment section. If you're new here, subscribe because we'll be doing a lot of other videos like this one. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.